Now, the MCU since time immemorial has been portrayed as this innocent PG-13 space. Yeah, there's a lot of couples in the MCU and I mean a lot of them. But the only thing you will see from them is a kiss. That's all. Except for the internals where we got our first sex scene. That is in the MCU officially. Not counting the Netflix shows even though they are supposed to be canon now. So with what I said, you would think that the actors and actresses in the MCU make, you know, only PG-13 movies. Whether it's with Marvel or it's outside of Marvel. You know, with how Disney is with, you know, their image. But that is not so. As these actresses in this list have been in movies where they have been nude. Whether topless or full nude unity and sex scenes which is such a taboo in the mcu so now let's get to the list with eight mcu actresses who've been in not so pg-13 movies and tv shows at number eight we have brie larson the head bat receiver is one of the most powerful characters in the mcu at the moment she had a very first successful film even though she had controversies here and there but on the other side of this pg-13 universe she was in turner hall in 2009 where she went semi-nude and had some steamy eye-catching scenes in there as well the series united states of tara showed us how good she also looked in the bikini plus more and the movie trouble with blaze in 2011 gave us scenes of hers you won't forget then moving on to 2013's The Spectacular, Spectacular Now, where she had a sex scene. In the MCU at the moment, a sequel to a 2019's movie is set to be released next year, with Tayona and a man set to co-star along her as Kamala Khan slash Miss Marvel and Monica Rambo. I don't know her alias yet. And her future in the MCU is not by far half done. At number 7, we have Tessa Thompson. Now the king of Asgard, Tessa Thompson debuted in Thor Ragnarok as the Valkyrie, the only one who survived Hela. Tessa has also been in different TV shows and movies where she's had to display her body in front of the camera for story purposes, of course. The, <laughs> the TV show Hidden Palms gave us a look at her in the bikini with some love scenes in there as well. The other series she was in was Copper from 2012, which saw her go fully nude with, with a very erotic love, love scene. scene. That's, That's definitely, definitely the 18 plus side. side. The movie Dear White People in 2014 saw her bury it all again with another love scene, though not as intense as the one we saw before. Then she also went wild in 2016's War on Everyone popular show Westworld also saw her performance in different aspects and of course on the nudity side she did not shy away from that at all. 2018's movie Sorry to Bother You saw her go crazy again and wild with different hearts and semi-nude scenes and in the movie Sylvie's Love in 2020 which also saw her in another naughty scene. In regards to the MCU though her role is definitely not finished. There's another Thor movie that is going to come out per what they teased at the end of Thor Love and Thunder. There you can be certain that she's going to be in but when it comes to the Avengers Avengers, you know, the team up movies, that is when we are not sure. But when it comes to Secret Wars, I'm sure all hands will be on deck in that movie. At number six, we have Hayley Atwell, the love interest of Steve Rogers, Captain America, the British don't eff with her capable woman. Who Hayley Atwell also played a version of her, a variant of her in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness as Captain Carter. But before her role in the MCU, she was in Brighthead Revisited, a 2008 movie where she had scenes where Disney and the MCU always shy from. She was also in the series Any Human Heart in 2010 where she had a steamy sex scene and she went on to another series the same year titled The Pillars of the Earth where she went fully naked with a wild love making scene. Then she went to another series Black Mirror in season 2 episode 1 where she bared the body again with another hot bedroom scene. She did same again in the movie Restless in 2012 and in another series Falcon season 1 episode 2 the same year and in the 2013 movie All By My Side. Now in terms of her role in the MCU at this point, we don't know what is going on. There were some rumors that she was going to have her own series as Captain Carter or she will pop up in another project, maybe Secret Wars. We know that a lot of characters are going to be in there. But if she does show up, I know many people will be happy. Next at number 5, we have Scarlett Johansson. Black Widow is one of the most badass MCU characters whom Scarlett Johansson played as for about a decade. She's one of the most gorgeous women in the MCU and of course, as Black Widow, that is an advantage and she uses it when her undercover work demands it. Now, Scarlett Johansson had already popped up in a number of world movies before she got her MCU role in 2010 and even after that, she still continued. 
In the movie A Good Woman in 2004, her stunning cleavage, free dress and a wild character she played made people notice her. She then went half nude in the movie A Long Song for Bobby Long in 2004 and her first movie with Chris Evans, perfect score in 2004, well, gave us this shot. Francesca Curtis. Match point in 2005 saw her in one of the most sensational heart love making scenes in movies. 2005's The Island saw her in another sex scene. The movie Scoop saw her in more wild scenes with Hugh Jackman, among others. She went on to have another intimate love scene in The Other Bullying Girl, the movie in 2008. She then went on to the movie Vicky Cristina Barcelona the same year with a half nude scene and got freaky with Penelope Cruz. I already did a video about her, a video about actress who love going nude or don't shy away from it on camera i'll link that video in the description and in the comments the movie he's just not that into you in 2009 also saw her half nude in a hot pool scene plus more with bradley cooper and one of her wildest and boldest roles in 2013 in the movie don john and in under the skin where she had a full frontal nude scenes and sex scenes in them and 2017's Ghost in a Shell also saw her adapt another badass character on screen in addition to her bearing it all again. Now in regards to her playing as Asa Romanoff, Black Widow in the MCU, we know she is dead but as we are in the face of the multiverse, anything is possible if they want to bring her back and she wants to come back, it can be done. At number 4, we have Elizabeth Olsen, one of the most popular and most powerful characters in the MCU at this point. Some people know her because of the Olsen twins, her sisters and others also did because of her projects prior but also most people don't even know her other projects outside the MCU and her bold movie roles. Let me take you back to 2011 where she starred in the movie Martha Marcin May Marlene in which she went completely nude along with a sex scene. She did the same thing in the movie In Secret in 2013 and went on to the movie Old Boy the same year where she and Thanos, I mean she and George Brolin got together under the sheets, wild and freaky and in the same year again went nude in Very Good Girls. And in 2015, she and Loki, <laughs> I mean Tom Hiddleston had their own wild intimate scenes together in the movie I Saw The Light. The series Sorry For Your Loss, there were multiple episodes spread out where she had bikini scenes, nude scenes and sex scenes like she was really involved in those intimate stuff. As people have become more familiar with her, they have noticed she's a great actress, she has a lot of range and not afraid to use her body to tell a story and make it make sense. And as for her role in the MCU, we know she's not done, she's not gone, she's going to come back stronger and have a really prominent part in the MCU going forward. At number 3, we have Natalie Portman. From a brave, smart scientist to wielding Thor's hammer and power as the mighty Thor in Thor Love and Thunder. <laughs> That's a lot of tea that I just went through. Anyway, Natalie Portman has had an interesting short journey in the MCU but what's interesting as that is her non-PG-13 crazy scenes and movies that she's been in before and after her MCU debut. Closer in 2004 saw her play a stripper, yeah a stripper, in the wild dance sequences that she had and a lot of crazy wild scenes that will leave you thirsty even if you drank all the Atlantic Ocean. Goya's Ghost in 2006 saw her in a crazy role where she was nude as well. 2007's movie Hotel Chevalier saw her bear it all and more as she also did same in the other woman movie in 2009. She then went on to play one of her most iconic roles and Oscar worthy performance Black Swan in 2010 which saw her in different complex scenes, sexualized one, nude and wild ones. Then the movie No Strings Attached in 2011, 2011's Your Highness saw her in another wild and bold scenes as well and 5 years later in the movie Planetarium saw her go fully nude. If you've watched Thor Love and Thunder with how everything ended, it seems that her chapter is closed in the MCU but if they want to go the comics route, spoilers ahead, then she could return as a Valkyrie as she did when she died and went to Valhalla. We then have next at number 2 Gwyneth Paltrow, someone I didn't think would be on this list but her catalog in 18 plus movies is surprisingly long. She's the heart of Tony Stark, Iron Man, that's who Pepper Potts is, a character Gwyneth Paltrow portrays. It was already an awesome can win now before her MCU run and portrayed a host of characters in movies where she was not shy to reveal her body. She's gone nude in 1993's Flesh and Bone and did same the next year in Mrs. Parker and the Vicious Circle and Moonlight and Valentino in 1995 saw her bear it all again. In 
1998 though, she went on to even have more wild and nude scenes in three movies that year. The movie A Perfect Murder in 1998 saw her in an eye-catching sexy lingering followed by a sex scene. Great Expectations the same year saw her rock a bikini and go fully nude and then drawn by Ethan Hawke Titanic style. In that year again, in the movie Hush, she went on full nudity and the final movie in 1998 where she went nude again was in Shakespeare in Love where she filmed another thrilling intimate scene. The movie Shallow Hall with Jack Black saw her go even more wild, the test strap body shot scene, bikini scenes, nude scenes, even a funny scene where she fell down like <laughs> she really went all out. The movie The Royal Tenenbaums in 2001 also saw her in more crazy buried hall scene and bikini shots. In 3, Sylvia saw her take it to another level with her new scene and sex scenes. Her role in the movie View from the Top the same year wasn't as daring but saw her the first time with Mark Ruffalo, the Hulk. But the movie Proof in 2005 saw her go there as well. The movie Two Lovers in 2009 saw her show a boob. Thanks for sharing the 2012 movie also saw her in a lingry set showing how she slays with it and also getting it on with Mark Ruffalo again. I bet Tony Stark never had that lap dance. <laughs> we a duck. Moving on, we have 2015's Mordecai, the movie that showed her going semi-nude, and the 2019 series The Politician. Her performances on there too are not toned down by those nude scenes or sex scenes or whatever. Like, she's an amazing actress, if you don't know. Now, at this point in the MCU, it's unclear whether she will be back. She may pop up in other shows or other movies because, you know, she's heavily linked to Tony Stark, Stark Tech and all that, maybe in Armor Wars. And with her wearing her suit, that you know, she does in the comics in Endgame, we don't know whether she will play that character going forward in the MCU, whether they have a project for her to star in, but we'll wait and see. And now at number one, we have Angelina Jolie. I'm pretty sure at this point, most people know Angelina Jolie's resume before watching Eternals. I mean, she's an Oscar winner and her list of movies have had their go from being badass to sexy and vice versa. And of course, she's one of the most beautiful women on this planet. When it comes to nude and sex scenes, those are just a way for her to express herself and also to celebrate her scars, as she said in 2015 via the New York Times. From her going topless in her film debut Cyborg 2, with a sex scene as well, to revealing her boobs in 1995's Harkers, to going topless in the teen movie in 1996, to, to that awkward moment in the movie Love is All There the same year. And in 1996 again, went topless in that hot bath scene in the movie Monjave Moon. And then to 1998's Gaia, Gaia where, where she, she went completely new with Elizabeth, Elizabeth Mitchell, Mitchell in addition to the lovemaking scenes that they shared together. To 2001's Lara Croft's Tomb Raider movie, that sensational shower scene, I mean, <laughs> who can forget that? And with that passionate sex scenes in there as well, among other eye-catching scenes in the other Tomb Raider movies, to the unforgettable love scenes between her and Antonia Banderas in the original Sin movie in 2001, to Beyond Borders in 2003, and that controversial scene in the movie Alexander in 2004. Then got it on with Ethan Hawke in 2004's Taking Lives to one of her famous roles in Mr. and Mrs. Smith in 2005 with then husband Brad Pitt. And then she went on to Beowulf in 2007 where even a CGI version of her still goes all out to the f up scene in 2008's Changeling and also who can forget that back scene in 2008's Wanted and in By the Sea in 2015 where she went semi-nude. As for her MCU career, we know there's going to be a second movie to the Eternal else that will be a pretty much show we can see here in but after that who knows only kevin feige does so that's the end of the video let me know in the comments below what you thought of this if you enjoyed the video leave a like subscribe and turn on that post notification bell not to miss more videos on the channel now that's the end see you guys in the next one